A Tampa Bay favorite and former Buccaneer Ian Beckles stood out on the field during his playing days, but there are those lingering physical ailments from those playing days that affect him today. Well, that was until Ian started working with Dr. Locks from Sports and Regenerative Medicine Centers, and they both join us today. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Well, first, Dr. Lox, I want to start with you. Let's talk about this procedures overall, because we are talking about stem cells and the difference they can make, right? Yes. And so talk about what you're able to do for your patients. Kind of break it down. If you want to use Ian as an example, what's the procedure that you were able to use with him? Well, what we basically are doing is taking a stem cell from the patient, and a stem cell is a natural reparative cell. Um, the problem with the human body is the stem cells can't get to certain areas such as your joints and self-repair. They're on your skin so you can heal a, a cut, um, but if you have a major bleed, um, they can't keep up and so you need a transfusion. So we have limitations, but in, in humans, our joints are meant to break down, especially with injuries. and athletes um, uh, really tear their bodies up so they get an earlier arthritis than, than, than the normal population. And uh, um, what we're trying to do with stem cells is halt the progression of the arthritis or reverse it to make their joints younger. Uh, arthritis is a progressive disorder, so treating them at an earlier age and making their joints younger makes them lead a more productive life and, and they're happier, especially athletes. Um, they want to stay productive after their career. And I was going to say, Ian, I mean, I can't imagine some of the, uh, the aches and pains perhaps mm -hmm. you've had from your years in the NFL. Talk about when you decided to pick up the phone. What was it about Dr. Locks and, and how are you doing? Well, I'm doing great, first of all. Um, I, I did know a lot about stem cell therapy and I look into a little bit and Dr. Locks's name kept on popping up. Mm -hmm. uh, so look into a little bit more and my knees were to the point where at nighttime they were swelling up, I was having problems walking. Um, and now my knees are probably the best part of my body. I mean, I taught a spin class this morning at six o'clock. Hey. And so I'm still able to get out there and, and, and move. And that's because uh, of stem cell therapy. I don't know all the ins and outs. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I didn't read as many books as Dr. Locks, but I just know that uh, after the stem cell therapy, um, like, it's like my knees improved 80%. And I, I still have people asking me, does a stem cell work? And this is from commercials I did ages ago on a different station. And I'm still always selling Dr. Locks because yeah, it's probably the best thing I've ever done for my body. And I've, and I've done a lot of stuff. Well, Dr. Locks, I mean, it's, you're in such demand. You have offices on both coasts, Florida and out in California, and being able to bring this to people. What is the technology that you're using that Ian's been able to get such good results? Well, <clears throat> a stem cell is a reparative cell, and uh, it helps regenerate the injured tissue. And it's based on a lot of factors, your health, and, and some people have better genes, and they have better stem cells. I myself was a former athlete. I treated both of my knees six years ago. I injected both of my knees, so I'm right there with Ian. Uh, but I don't want to age and, and have uh, bad joints, and I want to stay active too. So not only do I know the science, but if it's good enough for Ian, that ought to be good enough for me. Is this a situation where you have to have multiple procedures done or do you get results after the first one? How does this process work? That's a very good question. And um, I like to, to tell my patients this isn't cookie cutter medicine. Each patient is different and you have to individualize treatment for that patient. Some patients may require one, some patients may require uh, an additional one or two. The Australians, when I lectured with them last year in Aspen, they'll do three on everybody. And my question to them was, what if you get better with one? We don't care, we do three. Well, I don't, don't adopt like that. that approach. If I can get somebody better with one, I'm happy. I treated myself six years ago and haven't done anything since. But if you're younger and you treat, well, you're st still gonna get older. So there may be an indication in 10 years to retreat so you don't ever continue to fall apart. And so theoretically, if you treat early enough, you may never need a knee replacement. Hey, I'll say it sounds like a good plan. I know you work with a lot of other athletes. Athletes we're gonna be talking with in the future. 
additions as well. But if you want more information right now on Dr. Locks, well, there's the website. There's his phone number. Give him a call today. Guys, thanks for coming in today. We always Anytime. appreciate it. Thank you.